Hi, this is Chris Kovach, Regional Solutions Consultant in Northeastern Florida and Southern Georgia for Toby Dynavox. Today, I'm going to quickly cover how to launch a website directly from Communicator 5. So this question gets posed to me uh, fairly frequently, and I wanted to just walk through and make sure everybody understood how to do that. So what I'm going to do is minimize Communicator 5, and I have my web browser already open for you. I'm going to go to a random website, so I'm going to go to maybe ESPN, um, just something common. Uh, you can use this for any website. The steps and the processes are going to be the same. What you're going to do is copy the URL. So I'm going to simply copy. And with something as simple as ESPN.com, you don't have to copy it because you can probably guess that it's ESPN.com. But if this is a much more complicated uh, web address, it's just easier to copy and paste. Now, the next step is to close out your web browser and on your actual uh, homepage for your desktop, for your Windows homepage, if you right click and pull up your menu, you'll be able to select new and shortcut. That's what we wanna do. So we're gonna click on that shortcut icon and we're going to then copy and paste in our web address and select the next icon. Now this is going to be what we see in Communicator 5 as the name of that icon. So I am going to name this ESPN and click finish. Now you'll notice that all this did was drop a shortcut to my browser, which on my computer I use Chrome, but you could use Firefox or Internet Explorer as well as your default. Uh, and it's going to name it ESPN. So now what I need to do to allow that to work from Communicator 5 is to open up Communicator 5 and edit my homepage. Once I get to edit homepage, I'm gonna select the plus sign to add a page set. And rather than choosing one of the pre-built page sets, I wanna tell the system that I wanna launch a different file or an application. So down here in the lower right-hand corner. Now you'll see that it takes me to my documents where I have access to navigate my entire computer. What I need to do since I saved that link onto my desktop is click on my desktop icon. And here we'll see all the different options that are on my desktop. I wanna select my ESPN. You'll see it adds the file name to the bottom, click my check mark. And now it's just added that ESPN link right to my homepage. Now what's nice about this is that if I now select this as a user, it automatically minimizes Communicator 5. Sorry, it opened up on a secondary screen. Uh, it opens up the web browser, as well as you can see turning on computer control. And I don't have my eye tracker plugged into my computer at this point, uh, but that would not be a problem for anyone using an iSeries device <coughs> as the eye tracker would already be turned on. So this is a great tool because it eliminates a lot of the need to close down the system, open up a web browser, navigate to the site you wanna to go to. This allows you with one click to do all those things and be up and running on that site very quickly. I hope this helps and have a great day.